Hey there, welcome to the Luz Lumia channel. <laughs> this is a super quick, what are they thinking? It's gonna go by pretty fast. Pick your color. Purple, yellow, blue. What are they thinking? Think of a people, <laughs> a person, and which color calls out to you for them if none of them do i have so many pick cards pick ones in my library i promise you they're valid and they might serve you way better than this one if none of them speak to you or you can take a breather and save this video somewhere and come back to it and maybe one of them will speak to you because the energy has shifted so think of your person or people what are they thinking purple yellow or blue if you'd like a personal reading the information for that is in the description box below i hope you're well see you in the comments bye hey yellow what are they thinking what are they thinking? I mean, for real, what are they thinking? What on earth are they thinking? Eesh, what are they thinking? <laughs> what are they thinking? Let's find out. Yellow, this is going to take a while. I'm going to shuffle off camera. <laughs> hey, Yellow. You got a lot of cards spit out. The first one was this one. And then these guys all sort of made a group appearance. Um, if, if, if you're separated from this person, they're, they're going to come back around. Um... this person still thinks about you this person if it's a romantic interest there are still feelings there there's just seems to be something in the way of their um whatever's going on between you two because i feel like i feel like there's a couple of stories here and the one that i'm going to talk about first is there's someone here yellow perhaps who might be in a tizzy but doesn't necessarily need to be in a tizzy like you're just in your head and you're feeling some type of way about something that may have happened recently maybe you haven't been hearing from them maybe communication has been slow um you might be picking up on something but i feel like this person you're they are focusing uh, they're trying to focus on work they're trying to say maybe work is a thing that's keeping them busy or they are going to work to keep them mentally occupied um it does seem like there is something going on with them but i feel like it's more of like an emotional something with them um, I don't believe it's personal. Like, I don't, I don't think it really has much to do with you. And I don't feel like it has much to do with you as you think. You might be upset because maybe you're feeling abandoned. That's a really big word, but it's just the truth sometimes. Like, we're just feeling abandoned and lonely and we don't name it that. But you might be feeling some type of way. <laughs> That's how I say it. Um, but as far as what they're thinking, they're going to come back around and they may or may not open up about whatever it is they're doing or something. I don't feel like it has much to do with you though, but I feel like you are taking it personally. 
um, as far as them, if, if you're wondering if they still feel for you, yeah, they do. Um, they do still think about you, and if they're not coming around, you're still on their mind every so often. They're focusing on work or trying to focus on work or using it as some sort of support for themselves in that either as a, as a crutch or as something they want to throw themselves in, which is kind of a crutch. Um, they hope you're well if you're not talking. <laughs> If you're not talking, they hope you're okay, but, um, they may just not, if they are not talking, they may not, if you're not talking as much as you would like, they just may not want to talk. It, they, they may not want to say what they want to say. <coughs> what is it? How do I explain that? Sometimes, rather than saying something about what's going on, some people would rather just not say anything and just go quiet until the thing that they're dealing with is over, then they don't have to talk about it. You know? It's almost like if someone has, I don't know, some infection somewhere, and rather than tell you, oh hey, I have an infection somewhere, they would just rather not talk to you at all. <laughs> until the infection is gone and then come back like nothing happened um you know it's other I mean, i'm getting something like that but I, I feel like it could be something to do with them i uh, because obviously i'm reading for them duh <laughs> like it has nothing to do with you um nothing i really don't feel like from their perspective they're looking out for themselves but not in a malicious way they're just trying to figure something out but you're on their mind if that's something you care about. Um, they still feel for you. They still care about you. But yeah, there's they're dealing with something. And they hope you're okay. So I hope you're okay, Yellow. Um, I hope you're well. Keep your light on. Good luck. If you'd like a private reading or we can go deeper into your situation, we can. The information for that is in the description box below. If you resonated with this video, consider subscribing and checking out the other content on my channel. And uh, like the video so you can come back to it if you need to. Okay? I wish you everything, honey. Good luck. Hey, Blue. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Really, what are they thinking? Let's figure it out. I'm going to shuffle off camera because it took way too long <laughs> before. Okay? Okay, Blue. Here you are. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? is in a very weird place they're in a very weird place it almost feels like they're in a transitional space in their life but I'm not sure if they know it or not I feel like they have to make some decisions that are hard or they need to accept some decisions <sighs> that have already been made. Your person... is in some sort of transition. And there's some of them that know that they're in a transition and they just sort of need to accept the transition. And there's others who don't know that they're in a transition and they're just in the dark and they're kind of, they're freaking out and they don't like it and they don't know what to do. It's standing on ground that's not solid, you know? 
even in a transition that ground is wobbly because it's neither here nor there you know <laughs> time to go talk about a transition yeah <laughs> I'm not laughing at them, I'm laughing at the messaging. I'm really happy when uh, it comes through clutch like this. They have to make a decision in some sort of way. They have to do something or accept something that's already happened, a decision that's already been made for them. And they, <coughs> they, How do I say this? They... Oh. There's a sense of tornness. There's a sense of... Ownership. Sometimes... You know... We could get something that we want. Or something that's in line with what we wanted. But because we didn't specifically choose it it's a disturbance you know it's almost like when people say wow you meet the person for you when you least expect it and like that moment could be when you're literally about to go into a job interview and you see this person and you're like oh shit <laughs> And then are you going to be late for this job interview because you got to get this person's number or what? I mean, that's actually a really tame example to what the depth of what this person is thinking. This person is feeling a little lost. This person is feeling a little... And by a little, I think that's just me saying... I'm using a little like the word like or um. This person is feeling lost, tripped up, confused confusion it's almost like i don't want for some of them they're in a dark place but it's not dark as in like lights off it's just there's so much confusion and noise that the it's just you it it it, it numbs up the other senses it clogs up the other senses so you're just really confused and and lost and it feels dark but it's not actually dark i feel like there's some whiplash here with this person um and i feel like they're stepping away they're, they're trying to find a way to exit this headspace and then come back to it when they're better equipped because this is a lot <laughs> this is a lot I can't ignore the healing family issues here. It's definitely a part of the message in the in the in the sense of like the lostness, but there could be something more specific when it relates to their family. Maybe the absence of their family, maybe feeling that um, you know, on the for for instance, an example that comes to mind is um, being able to be with your your partner for the holidays but you can't be with your family, you know? Being in a place where you are in this job and you got this opportunity to go out of town, let's say for work, but it happens to be on a very significant um, day where you'll have to miss out. It's almost like having something nice, but having something not so nice come with it and just sort of having to accept that and and go with that but bitterly accept it um or having to make that choice do you stay and, and figure the thing out or do you take the opportunity and go towards the thing that is is nice it's it's really that oh, sucks They're thinking quite a bit. They're um, trying to figure out what it is that they're going to do or how they're going to handle it or how they're going to take care of themselves. Um, I feel
feel like, hmm, I feel like they're trying to, <laughs> I thought this was going to be fast. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to navigate this space, headspace that they're in. They, or the situation that they're in. Um, they might have to take a bit, a, a break, maybe even a forced break, but they might have to take a break and come back to the situation later to figure things out. Um, this is almost like someone who has to sort of postpone their wedding or something, you know? Or someone that's got something that they wanted, but... The amount of work that has to now come forward is a lot and exhausting. So, this person has a lot on their mind. I wish them well. <laughs> I hope your person's good, Blue. I hope that gave you some insight. If you'd like a private reading to go deeper into this person or your situation, rather, I should say, um, feel free to hit me up. The information for that is in the description box below. If you want to check out the rest of my videos, you should. You can. They're good. They're very, very valid. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and do that. But check out the videos first and see if I'm someone that you want to subscribe to. Keep your light on, honey, and good luck. Hey, Purple. Purple, what are they thinking? I mean, really. What are they really thinking? What's the deal? What are they thinking? What's the deal? What's going on? What are they thinking? Let's figure this out. I'm going to shuffle off camera and I will see you in a jiffy. Where did this come from? Um. feel like your person this person is in a position <laughs> to <laughs> attend to whatever the situation is there's a situation here they don't want to think about it they don't want to attend to it they're grossed out by it and not grossed out in like a bleh, type of way but grossed out and like uh, they have an aversion to the situation it's like it's almost like when I see mold I I want to get as far away from it as possible it's like that whatever this situation is that you might be checking up with them for or whatever they might be thinking they don't want to be thinking it um and until they are calm or until they are able or until they are in a position to think about it they just don't want to they're not going to they're not even trying to entertain this topic they're not trying to talk about shit until they're able to they are going to eventually reconsider this situation or whatever they're gonna come back to it when they're good and ready or when they can no longer avoid it or whatever the fuck but they're they're gonna have to come back to it because th this is just not the time for them to be doing any of this this is a whole nanya business type thing like they're just not about it in the least but um they will come back to think about it if they haven't already if this could be slid because I, I read in layers right <laughs> so this could be slid in that that's where they were they were in a, in, a, in the mind space where I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. This is not something that I want to do. Gross. Get away from me. Get this thought away from me. I don't want to think about it. Anger because it's on their mind, but they don't want to think about it because no, screw that. But perhaps now they're entering into a space where they can think about it, where they're, they've reached a mental um, position or emotional position where they can go, okay <sighs> all right i can think about this now 
I can I can visit the situation. I, I'm more or less a little bit more ready to actually entertain this topic or entertain this whatever um, now than they were before. So that's about as much as I can give you on that one because oh shit now they're um looking at it or they will look at it you see what i'm saying like it's a sliding scale it depends on your person if it's still too fresh they're in that first category where they're not really looking at it if it's not so fresh they're in the other category where they're thinking they're now starting to um consider it to think about it whatever the it is you know i don't know good luck i wish you everything i really do um check out the other videos on my channel they may have more information for you and build a greater story for you i'm a fan i always use my own videos for my own situations and they read me in a way that I feel intruded on. <laughs> so I hope that they serve you in that way. I wish you everything. I really do. Keep your light on. Good luck.